All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can create these um, really cute wine labels. And this is actually what they look like um, when you print them out and stick them on a wine bottle. I have two different um, heights of sort of varying sizes, uh, so you can see the difference. When I looked online um, to find out the sort of most popular use of wine bottle labels, I found that weddings were, so hence these examples, but obviously you can use this and customize them uh, in any way you want, put any font, change any colors, um, and really you can use this as a guide or a template for creating those. Um, I always get asked, what paper do you use? And um, I unfortunately cannot find a glossy sticker paper that works well with my printer. Um, I have searched high and low. So I just use these Avery 8.5 by 11 full sheet laser printing labels. Um, and I think they turned out pretty great. Again, if the wine did drip, it would bleed into the paper. So it really depends on what the use is and the longevity of um, how long you need the wine bottle to last. Uh, but I think these uh, sticker paper labels worked just great. And again, here's what they look like when they get stuck on. All right, so I got um, the inspiration for creating this from my YouTube channel. Um, it was on one of the discussion boards as a suggestion to create this. I do have a number of other videos, everything from creating um, chalkboard posters to bunting banners. Uh, but more importantly, I have a video called Searching Fonts, Installing Fonts, and Using Symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video um, and or use symbols. Please watch this video because um, we do use very um, a lot of unique fonts as well as symbols in order to create these labels. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to File, New, Blank Document. Okay. We then want to go to Page Layout. We want to go to Orientation Landscape. And we want to go to Margins and make those narrow. Next thing we want to do is create sort of the outlines or the boxes or the borders. So we want to click on insert tab up here. We want to click on shapes and we want to click on our rectangle. And then you can just click kind of anywhere on the page. Um, we know that this object is selected because we see these little white squares. So we want to go up here and I'm going to make this first label four inches high by 3.5. When I looked online, this seemed to be a very standard wine label size. So I put that on there. Now, for the purpose of this example, I have moved these labels all the way over here. Just note, you can't actually print them um, if they're this close to the edge. It's gonna cut off the actual borders. So I, I, again, I wanted to give you a couple different examples. So that's why I had this moved all the way over. Just know this won't print. You have to have them within this half of an inch border in order for them to print. All right, uh, so the next thing we wanna do is click on this box and we want to click on format and we want to do a shape fill of no fill and the outline color. Now I am actually really bad with picking colors. Um, I just cannot do it for the life of me. So what I did was I actually went um, online. You can use Google, Bing, um, Yahoo, whatever you like for a search. Um, let's go ahead and use Google. But I typed in wedding colors. And when I clicked in wedding colors, I just clicked on this link and I scrolled down and these were the colors that I used. I really liked these. So what you wanna do is you want to um, hold down the CTRL button on your keyboard, which is control, hold that down and then hit print screen, P-R-T-S-C-N, to grab a snapshot. Then you wanna go down here and you wanna type in paint and you want to do a paste. Scroll down, you want to click on this color picker, and you want to click on the yellow, and then you want to click on edit colors. You want to write down the red, green, and blue. So you want to do the 255, 210, and zero, these right here. And then you basically want to do that for all of these colors, so you have all of those written down. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to Word, and for the border, we did that aqua color. So you want to click on shape outline, and this is the aqua color that I already have saved. But if you don't already have it saved, you go to more colors, you go to custom, and you write in those values here, red, green, and blue. And that's how you can get a really good color palette if you're not great with colors like me. Okay. Um, so now we have the border of the color. We want to make this a six point width, and we want to click over here, and we want to do thick, 
Okay. Now, if you don't have this left hand arrow or this left hand um, window, you want to go to Shape Outline, Wait, and then click on More Lines, and then that will bring up the format shape or this this format shape window. Okay. All right. So now that we have our border, we just want to create a whole bunch of text boxes. So we want to go to Insert Text Box, Draw Text Box, and we want to draw this right in here. Now, obviously, we are not going to want to have a big old black border around this text box. So we want to select the object, and we know it's selected because we see these white boxes. We want to do a shape fill of no fill, and we want to do a shape outline of no outline. And then we want to type in the word two. And from here, we want to highlight this. We want to go to home. And the font I used for that is copper black. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to change the box over here. Um, we want to click on format and we want to go to text effects. We want to go to transform and we want to click on square. And what this is going to do is it's going to fit this word into um, whatever shape or size the text box is. Okay. We're going to do this for all these. So instead of creating all new text boxes, we're going to right click. I'm sorry, we're going to yeah, right, right click, and you want to click on copy, and then you want to click outside because if you have this selected and you click paste, it's going to paste it over that. We don't want that. We want a new text box. So then we want to right click, and we want to click paste. Okay. And then down here, we want to write love. We want to make this a little bit bigger. Actually, no, we want to keep this the same size. And we want to change the color. And again, you should have all those colors saved to that um, pink. And this is Angeline Vintage is the font that I used for that. Okay. So to love, and we can make that a little bit bigger. And then we want to click over here and we want to do a paste. And we want to write laughter and obviously want to make this bigger. Move this over here. And we want the laughter to be fit right there. And we want to highlight this. And we want to make this that red color that was in um, that color palette. And this is back to black is the font that I used for that. And then we want to move this text box. You can, if you want to move the text boxes um, around in a fine grained manner, you want to select the text box and use the arrow keys to move it up. And I do apologize, I meant for the two to be that dark gray in, um, in that color palette. Okay. Next thing we want to do is insert the and. So actually we're going to go ahead and right click and we're going to do a paste. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a symbol. Okay, we're going to click on more symbols. Um, Bergamot ornaments is the font. And again, this is a font. Again, if you don't know how to work with symbols or you feel uncomfortable in this part, please watch that video on installing fonts, using fonts, and using symbols. And it will walk you through that. But the font that I use for this is Bergamot ornaments. And we just want to do the and. So we just want to double click or you can click on insert and you can click on close. And we want to highlight this. We want to go to home and we want to make it that dark gray color. And we want to move this down. We want to make this just a little bit bigger. And you know, you see that it has this um, blue that's just, it says it's the grammar error. If you don't want to see the blue, you can just click on ignore now. But again, know that it's not actually going to print out with that. If you use Word, you probably already knew that. Um, all right, now we want to write happily ever after. So we're going to, once again, click and we're going to do a paste. And we want to write happily. And we want to make this a little bit bigger. And we want to highlight this. And again, the font we, or the color we used is this gray. And the font that we used is passport. And And we can move this up and then we can right click and we can do a copy since we're using the same color and the same font 
and we can do a paste. And we want to type in never after. And we want to move this down. And we know it's the exact same size text box, so the text will line up perfectly, which is great. And then we want to go ahead and let's do another paste. And once again, we're going to insert a symbol. So we're going to click on Insert, Symbol, and we want to do more symbols. And again, it's the um, Bergamot ornament, and it is this one right here in the center. So you want to click on Insert and close this, and we want to make this that same gray color. Let's move this right there. Okay. And then we want to do Insert paste, and we want to write Tracy in that. And this is one of my absolute favorite fonts. It's called Great Day Personal Use. And we, um, Great Day Personal Use doesn't have an and sign, and some of the um, fonts don't. So, you know, you just use Calibri Lighter, a different font to do the and percent. Oh, Matthew. And we want to make this red. And again, that same red color. And then we want to put in our date, Control V or paste. And we want to type in 12, 17, 17. And we want to click on here. And this is just light. Um, but again, you can pick any font you want. Um, I just thought this one looked kind of Kind of cool. And then we can make this much smaller. Okay. And if you want to move the text boxes around, um, you can um, click on the object, hold down the shift key, click on another object, and you can move this down just using your keyboard, the arrows on your keyboard. And you can move this down, and you can hold down the shift key. Finally, um, we have those rings in the background. Um, and again, you can just go to Google and you can type in wedding rings clip art and click on images. And I think these were them. We can right click, do a save picture as, and we want to save it right here. And we can go back here and we can click on insert picture and we want to click on our wedding rings. Now this is important. You want to go to layout options and you want to say behind text. Okay. Then we can make these much smaller. And then finally we want to go to color correct. Actually we want to go to color. We want to make these um, pretty grayed out. And you could make them, you can kind of play with the size and you can also play with the color effects so if you want to do um, that and then you can do that or that that one again you can kind of play with them but um, that's how you can create that first one label okay next we're gonna insert shape and we're gonna insert another rectangle. Um, the size of this one's a little different. I made this a little bigger. So we're gonna make this 4.75, and we are gonna make this 3.5, okay? Um, and again, you can use the center lines to ensure everything's centered if you are making the first label in the center. Um, next thing we wanna do is we wanna do a shape fill, and we actually made this a really light white, it's kind of almost a gray white, um, and it actually prints out pretty nice. And we wanna do a shape outline of that dark gray that we had um, saved, and we wanna do a weight of a six point. And again, you wanna go down to more lines, so you have this window on the left, and we used a double line for this. And actually, I don't think we did six point. I think we did um, maybe a five. I think we did a four and a half point font, actually. All right, so now we want to insert text box, draw text box. 
and we want to once again do a shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline, and we want to type in table two. We want to highlight this, and the font that I use for this is Scriptina, and this is a 48 point font. And we want to center this. Okay. And then we want to um, insert text box, draw text box. And we want to type in 12, 17, 17. And once again, we want to do a shape fill of no fill, a shape outline of no outline. We want to highlight this. And this is actually Century Gothic. And this is a 24 point font. And once again, we want to center this. And again, you can see that green line to ensure that that is centered. Again, this will only work, those green lines will only work if you're working on a, a label in the center. So something you might want to do if you're creating the same label multiple times is start off in the center. And then um, in order to copy and paste it around, you can again, just click on this, hold down the shift key. And then you can either group or you can just copy and then paste. Okay. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box, draw a text box, and we want to type in Tracy Ands. And once again, we want to do shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. And we want to make this passport font, and we want to make this a 30 point font. But we want to highlight the T, um, I love mixing fonts, um, especially making the, the first letter, the capital letter, something different. And this is actually called Precious is the font. And I made this a 50 point font. Okay, so we do Tracy and, and then we can do a left click copy and then go up here and do a paste. And then we can write, and then we can get rid of the T, Matthew. Okay. And again, we can center this, and we can center this. Okay. Uh, and then finally, we want to insert a text box, and we want to draw a text box, and all the way down here, you can put in the location. Leon, Washington. And once again, we want to do shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. This one is Bradley handwriting and it is a 22 point font. So we can make this text box just a little bit bigger. And once again, we want to center this. Okay. Finally, um, we have our last one. And what we can do, because it's the same size, is we're just going to go ahead and copy and then go over here and go to paste. And again, all I did was right click and clicked on copy and then right click and click on paste. And um, what we did for here though, is we did single line. And I want to say this is a four point or even a three point. And again, this is single. Okay. Um, the color that I used for this, um, I think it was actually a different color that I found online. So, you know, feel free to, to, um, find the colors that you like for your color scheme. We're gonna do a no fill. Um, and what we wanna do is let's just go ahead and copy this. Right click and do a copy, right click and do a paste um, and move this because what we wanna do is we wanna keep that T. It's the same font again. And that font is precious. And this is actually a 50 point font, but what I did was I clicked on format, text effects, and I did a transform to square. There we go. And we can right click, copy, right click, paste, and we can click M for Matthew. And then we can go up here and we can do a paste and we can do the ampersand. And I think this one is a little bit smaller. And we can move this over here. Yeah, there we go. 
And um, these are actually not black. This is that same dark gray that we were using. Um, so I'm gonna change that font color to that dark gray. Okay. And then from here, um, it's the same fonts as this. We've already gone through this. So we're gonna do a copy. We're gonna do a paste. We're gonna just go down here. And we're going to highlight this and do that same gray. And we're going to um, click on here. And we're going to right click and we're going to say copy and we're going to right click and we're going to do paste. And we're going to go down here. But we're going to write thank you for attending. And we're going to right click or we're going to highlight this. And this is actually great day personal use. And we're going to move this up. And once again, we're going to change this to the gray. And I apologize, guys. I think this is actually that gray color, not black. Um, so you can just go ahead and change that, that black color to gray if you prefer. All right. So finally, we need to know how to do those little borders. So what we're going to do is once again, we're going to insert a text box and we're going to draw a text box. And we're going to insert a symbol, and that symbol is going to be once again the um, oh, actually no, different symbol. This one is borders, border corner two, and the border we used is right here. Close. Okay. So now what we want to do is click on Format, Text Effects, Transform. We want to go to square and then we want to highlight this and we want to make this that gold color. And then we want to click on format and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And then we want to right click and we want to say ignore so we don't have that ugly blue line. And then we can just move this down here and there's your pretty border. From here, we can just go ahead and do a copy and go up here and do a paste and then we can move. Um, once you have this, if you look up here, once this object is selected, you can move this and you just wanna move this, grab this little circle with an arrow and just move that around. And then go up here and we wanna do a paste. And once again, grab this little arrow and move that around. And then once again, we can go up here, do the paste and we can move that around and I don't know why it did not ignore that. There we go. And we can move that right in there. And that's how you can go ahead and create that. Now again, I've had the question often of how do you copy and paste these? Um, well, what you want to do, the easiest way to do it is you go ahead and click on the first object, hold down the shift key, click on all of the objects, And then you can, while they're all selected, again, you have to hold down the select key, you can click on group. Once you've grouped it, you can just go on copy and let's do, we don't have any room on this page, um, but you can essentially just click on insert, oh, inserts blank page. And then up here, you can just do a control V for paste. And that's how you can very easily um, copy and paste these to create multiple labels on a single page. I hope you found this useful. Um, please like the video and or subscribe to my channel. Also, if you find an advertisement uh, that you find useful, if you click on it, that would be fantastic. Uh, thanks so much for listening.